Forget Yellowstone for a moment. Deep beneath the sea in the Philippines lies something even bigger. The Apalaki Caldera, the largest ever discovered on Earth. A giant so massive it could change everything we know about supervolcanoes. The detail is that it remains in absolute silence. But does that silence mean it's truly extinct or could it still surprise the world? The Pacific Ocean may look calm, but it's not. The world's largest tectonic plate is always on the move pushing, colliding, and shifting. It's this unstoppable force that keeps the Pacific Ring of Fire alive, home to 75% of active volcanoes and 90% of recorded tectonic earthquakes. For those living in Tokyo, Santiago, or Manila, this risk is a daily reality. A single quake can topple buildings, cut off roads, and reshape entire landscapes in minutes. In the Ring of Fire, stability is never guaranteed, and the ground can change without warning. In 2025, the region once again showed clear signs of strain. The Pacific Ring of Fire unleashed fresh tremors, reinforcing the idea that it's charged with immense energy. Every earthquake is a brutal reminder that the planet is never truly at rest. Each shift of the plate is like a piece moving in a dangerous game. The pressure keeps building and scientists know it always comes with consequences. On July 30, 2025, Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula was rocked by a massive 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake. The shock triggered a tsunami with waves reaching up to 16 feet, striking coastal areas and showcasing the raw power of the Pacific Ring of Fire. It was a brutal reminder of how active, dangerous tectonic earthquakes remain. Just two weeks earlier, on July 16, 2025, Alaska was hit by a 7.3 magnitude quake in the Megathrust region. This area is notorious for releasing enormous amounts of stored energy, and every event there underscores the vulnerability of the North Pacific. For experts, these are warning signs that something bigger could be unfolding. On March 25, 2025, New Zealand registered a 6.7 magnitude quake linked to the Alpine Fault. The event directly disrupted daily life impacting transportation, power supply, and even agriculture. For cities like Christchurch, every tremor brings back painful memories of recent destruction. Then in July and August 2025, Southeast Asia was shaken as well. Sulawesi recorded a 6 point to quake and West Papua a 6.5. And on June 6, 2025, Chile was struck by a 6.6 .6 tremor in the South American subduction zone. Taken together, these events show that the entire Pacific Ring of Fire is under immense stress, and this is directly tied to volcanic activity. Right after the massive quakes of 2025, the Kamchatka Peninsula made headlines once again. The Klyuchevskoy and Karimsky volcanoes erupted, sending ash columns soaring tens of miles into the sky. This activity highlighted how the Pacific Ring of Fire links earthquakes and volcanism in the same mechanism. In the United States, scientists recorded recurring tremors beneath Mount Rainier. This giant, considered one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the country, has drawn renewed attention. Small quakes, often overlooked, are clues that internal heat remains active. The real danger lies in the silent buildup of pressure. The driving mechanism is the subduction of the oceanic crust. When one plate slides beneath another, part of the material melts and forms magma chambers. In this process, earthquakes and eruptions go hand in hand. Every tectonic earthquake can open pathways for magma to rise. And it's precisely this link between seismic activity and volcanoes that keeps scientists on edge. The eruptions in Kamchatka and the tremors at Rainier are no coincidence they're signs of an interconnected system. And if this system can unleash active volcanoes, imagine what it means to uncover a colossal structure like the Apalaki Caldera. In 2019, researchers announced something that surprised even the most seasoned experts, the discovery of the Apalaki Caldera located in the Benham Rise of the Philippine Sea. It is the largest caldera ever identified on Earth, stretching 93 miles in diameter twice the size of Yellowstone. A structure so colossal that it reshapes how we understand the Pacific Ring of Fire.
What makes this caldera impressive is not just its size, but its complexity. Its edges were massive step-like walls, and at the center lies a resurgent dome, the result of ancient magmatic movements. Surrounding volcanic rocks are up to 9 miles thick, evidence of eruptions that once released energy on an unimaginable scale. The age of this formation is equally striking. Geological studies suggest that Apalachee's activity took place between 47.9 and 26 million years ago, spanning from the Eocene to the Oligocene. In other words, we are looking at a supervolcano that was active during crucial eras of Earth's evolution. Its silence today does not erase the immensity of its past. What's most intriguing is that, even extinct, Apalachee remains a key piece in understanding the planet. Every detail of this caldera helps decode how Earth's interior is capable of releasing such overwhelming energy. When people think of a supervolcano, most recall Yellowstone in the United States. It remains active with massive magma chambers and ground deformations tracked by satellites and GPS. It's a constant reminder that, even in times of calm, the Pacific Ring of Fire holds potentials powerful enough to reshape the planet. In the Arctic, the Gackle Ridge revealed an oceanic caldera that exploded 1.1 million years ago. The eruption was so intense it carved deep scars into the seafloor. Though forgotten outside academic circles, it proves you don't need solid ground for a tectonic earthquake or volcano to trigger colossal transformations. Indonesia carries the memory of Toba, whose eruption 70 for thousand years ago was so massive it altered the global climate. Some studies, such as Rampino and Self 1992, suggest the blast reduced the human population to just a few thousand individuals. Meanwhile in Japan, the air caldera remains active, releasing ash at regular intervals and reminding us that the threat never truly disappears. Compared to all of these, the Apalaki caldera is a sleeping colossus. Its size dwarfs every rival, yet its silence raises an unsettling enigma, a giant that once ruled the past now rests in the deep. And this leads to the ultimate question, could this monster ever come back to life? The idea of seeing the Apalaki caldera awaken feels like something out of science fiction. For that to happen, a rare chain of factors would need to align. First, pockets of magma would have to have survived for millions of years. Then a new mantle plume or heat source would need to feed this molten mass. On top of that, tectonic stress would have to reopen ancient fractures in the crust, carving pathways for magma to rise. If water were to interact with the eruption, the danger would escalate even further. A submarine explosion of that scale could unleash devastating impacts, amplified by the pressure of the deep. It's an unlikely scenario, but not an impossible one. The truth is, there are currently no signs pointing in that direction. No local earthquakes, no detected heat, and no visible deformations in the region. All evidence suggests that Apalaki is an extinct supervolcano, a geological scar from a distant past. Still, scientists know that Earth has a way of surprising us. Even in its slumber, this caldera remains a subject of study. And with every new piece of research, one question continues to spark curiosity. If massive submarine eruptions were to happen again, how would they reshape the global climate and the oceans? When a supervolcano erupts underwater, the impact goes far beyond the ocean floor. Submarine eruptions release heat and gases that can alter entire ocean currents. Shifts in these systems directly affect the climate carrying heat to distant regions and reshaping rainfall patterns. A clear example is the eruption of Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai in 2022, which blasted an enormous amount of water vapor into the atmosphere. According to a nature study 2022, this event temporarily increased the greenhouse effect. Now imagine something on a much larger scale coming from the Apalachee caldera that consequences would be planetary. In addition, undersea eruptions release particles that disrupt ecosystems. Excess ash and minerals can suffocate marine life across vast areas, threatening fisheries and the food chain. Coastal communities that depend on the ocean would feel the impact directly. These effects reveal how a geological event 
can quickly escalate into a global crisis. Changes in currents and climate don't respect borders. And if an eruption of this magnitude were to occur, one inevitable question would remain, what would the real scenario of such an explosion look like? If the Apalachi caldera were to erupt in a basaltic way, the immediate impacts would unfold on the ocean floor. Massive lava flows could reshape miles of oceanic crust, altering marine current routes. This would affect everything from water temperature to species migration changes that would ripple through the entire food chain. But if the eruption were explosive, the scale would be completely different. Gases and ash could reach the stratosphere, blocking sunlight and altering the global climate for years. Events like this have already occurred with other supervolcanoes, such as Toba in Indonesia, leaving deep scars in human history. The key point is that, even as a remote scenario, the effects wouldn't be limited to the Pacific. Farmers could face ruined harvests due to colder winters, airlines might be forced to reroute flights, and entire populations could suffer from sudden climate shifts. It's the kind of impact that touches everyone without exception. And when we consider the technological consequences, the scale becomes even greater. A large-scale eruption in the Pacific Ring of Fire wouldn't just threaten coastal populations. The first target would be the technological infrastructure that sustains the modern world. Submarine internet cables responsible for more than 95% of global data traffic could be severed in seconds. Imagine entire continents cut off in the 21st century. And it doesn't stop there. Satellites would also be at risk. Volcanic ash blasted into the atmosphere can disrupt GPS, communication, and weather signals. That would impact everything from financial transactions to commercial aviation. A single tectonic earthquake followed by an eruption could trigger a global technological blackout. Logistical chains would collapse as well, shipping routes diverted, ports shut down, and vessels stranded would mean shortages of basic goods within days. Remember how a simple disruption in 2020 caused supply shortages worldwide? Now imagine that amplified by the fury of a supervolcano. This scenario exposes just how vulnerable we are to forces far beyond our control. And to make matters worse, the Apalachi caldera is almost completely unmonitored. Unlike Yellowstone, which is watched by an entire network of sensors, GPS stations, and constant surveillance, the Apalachi caldera is practically invisible to science. Because it lies in international waters, there are no dedicated instruments to track its signals. It's as if the largest supervolcano on the planet has been forgotten at the bottom of the sea. This means that if any changes were to occur, detection would come late. Without seismometers, there's no way to record minor quakes. Without thermal studies, there's no way to spot rising heat. The absence of data turns Apalachi into a living mystery, one full of unanswered questions. The contrast is striking. At Yellowstone, scientists can track ground deformation down to just a few centimeters. At Apalachi, we have no idea whether there's internal movement or if everything remains still. That lack of information is itself one of the greatest risks. After all, what isn't measured cannot be controlled. And it's precisely because of this lack of monitoring that one inevitable question arises. What is the real scientific consensus on Apalachi's current state? The answer, even if seemingly reassuring, opens new paths for reflection. The most recent studies suggest that the Apalachi caldera is most likely extinct. There are no signs of heat, seismic activity, or deformations indicating any internal movement. For the scientific community, this places it among fossilized geological structures a supervolcano that once had its peak but now remains in profound silence. The real risk, according to experts, continues to lie within the Pacific Ring of Fire. Regions such as Luzon, in the Philippines, remain under intense subduction activity. There, the collision of plates produces both tectonic earthquakes and active volcanism, creating immediate danger for millions of people. Even so, the very existence of Apalachi is proof of the planet's capacity to generate colossal structures. Its size surpasses all others known, 
reminding us that Earth has a history of forces far greater than anything we experience today. This perspective reshapes how we understand our geological past, and that is where the key lies. Even extinct, Apalachee holds valuable answers. If studied in depth, it may reveal clues about the extremes of Earth's dynamic forces. Every caldera is like a window into Earth's interior. In the case of the Apalachee caldera, its colossal size offers unique clues about how the mantle and crust interact during extreme events. Understanding this dynamic helps scientists explain the origins of the largest tectonic earthquakes and the eruptions powerful enough to alter the global climate. Studying Apalachee is also essential for understanding episodes of intense mantle melting. Structures of this scale reveal how the planet releases energy on an unimaginable level. Research in this field could even inspire new geothermal technologies a clean and virtually inexhaustible resource. But to achieve that, investment is needed in deep drilling, thermal studies, and detailed mapping of the Benham Rise. Today, knowledge of Apalachee remains limited, based mainly on seismic images and preliminary analyzes. Without field data, we're still only scratching the surface of a hidden giant. The key point is this. The more we understand calderas like Apalaki, the better prepared we are to face the risks of the Pacific Ring of Fire. After all, science is not only about looking into the past, it gives us the tools to anticipate the future. The Apalaki caldera reveals how Earth is capable of creating structures of unimaginable scale. Even though it is extinct, it serves as a reminder of the power within the Pacific Ring of Fire where volcanoes and tectonic earthquakes remain active and dangerous. Every study of this forgotten giant can bring crucial answers about the planet's dynamics. Understanding these formations is essential to predict risks, anticipate scenarios, and protect millions of people living in vulnerable regions. The message is clear. We need more monitoring, more research, and more focus on the ocean floor. Ignoring Apalachee means giving up on understanding a vital part of Earth's geological history. If this topic interests you, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. That way, you'll follow new content that goes straight to the point and reveals what truly matters about the future of our planet.